Hello everyone, welcome back to Mind Splatter. Today, we're going to talk about the fact that Minecraft is adding the Warden in its upcoming update. So before we start today's interesting and informative video, please smash that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you don't miss any video of us and stay updated. We make videos like this every week, so make sure to stay tuned with us. So, let's start with our today's video. The Warden is an upcoming hostile mob in the 1.17 Caves and Cliffs update. The Warden will be the first blind mob to be added to Minecraft. Instead of following the player normally, it uses these skulk-like sensors on its head to detect vibrations. A good defense to use in order to avoid fighting the Warden is to sneak or throw projectiles such as snowballs or arrows to distract it, which was shown during the Minecraft Live 2020 event. It was shown in the reveal that the Warden will be attracted to projectiles that produce a sound. However, fighting the Warden is not recommended, as it does a lot of damage. Mojang developers also stated that this mob is not meant to be fought, but rather is meant to scare players. The Warden seems like it gets faster when attacked, and it deals so much damage that it can kill a player wearing full netherite armor in two hits. Any weaker armor or no armor will result in the player being killed in one hit. Wardens do not use traditional mob spawning mechanics. When a Skulk Shrieker is activated three times and there isn't another Warden within 48 blocks and the light level is lower than 11, a Warden emerges from the ground. Up to 20 attempts are made to spawn a Warden within a 11x13x11 by by box centered on the Shrieker. Wardens require a light level of 11 or lower to spawn. The Warden despawns by burrowing into the ground if it is not agitated and has not detected a vibration in 1200 ticks. One minute. The Warden is completely invulnerable while emerging or burrowing, including damage from kill, though it can still be pushed by entities, pistons, and liquids. The Warden won't hear the player if they sneak past it, but if the player attacks it enough, it will lock onto them and won't get distracted by other noises. At this point, it will begin charging at the player significantly faster than before. If a player gets near to it or tries to attack it with a poison, wither, or other similar status effects, then the Warden will still attack the player. Its heartbeat is audible as well as visible, and the more it is attacked, the stronger it gets, and the stronger it gets, the more its soul-filled heart flashes. Wardens are found deep underground in deep dark caves located at the deepest depths of the world, where Skulk is found. The area around it is very dark, so it's easier for the Warden to sneak up on the player. Though the depths of the deep dark caves are unknown, it's confirmed to be at the lowest point of the Minecraft overworld, just above bedrock. A nearby vibration alerts the Warden, which moves toward the location where the vibration originated. It can also smell the area around it, allowing it to zero in on an entity's location. The more vibrations a mob or player makes, the more agitated it grows. The soles on its chest creates a low throbbing heartbeat sound in tandem with the darkness effect. The animation and sound speeds up gradually as the Warden becomes more agitated. Wardens prefer to track down mobs that it finds most suspicious, rather than the closest one. Once a Warden reaches a high enough level of agitation, it roars and pursues the target. In this state, the Warden pathfinds to the target normally, regardless of vibrations made. If a mob or player collides with a Warden or attacks it first, the Warden immediately enters its angry state. The Warden tracks down and attacks all other mobs, excluding other Wardens. The Warden can also follow vibrations made by non-mob entities such as projectiles or minecarts. After 60 seconds of being calm and not detecting any vibrations, the Warden burrows back into the ground and despawns. The Warden is classified as an undead mob, which means it takes extra damage from the Smite enchantment, gets healed by the instant damage status effect, is damaged by the healing status effect, is immune to poison and regeneration, and is ignored by the Wither. However, unlike some undead mobs, the Warden does not burn under direct sunlight. The Warden's attack disables shields and deals an exceptional amount of damage, enough to instantly kill a player wearing full netherite armor on hard difficulty. Wardens can fit in a 1 block wide by 3 blocks height corridor due to their hitbox. This allows them to chase entities pathfinding precisely even on small gaps, such as cave corridors. The Warden is meant to be a natural disaster that is almost impossible to kill and best avoided. Killing a Warden doesn't count for the Monster Hunter advancement, nor is it needed to receive the Monster's Hunted advancement. Previous names considered for the Warden were the Stalker and the Hallowed. The Stalker iteration was tall, asymmetrical, and had a glowing core. It occurred in totems throughout the Deep Dark. The Stalker would stand completely still to trick players into taking its core and aggravating it. 
and could transform into a one-block high form to prevent players from digging away. That iteration specifically its appearance and transformation mechanic felt clunky and was more funny than scary, which is why it was scrapped. The Hollowed was designed with the intent of inciting Triphobia and had white flesh with holes in it. That iteration was deemed too gory by the developers and had to be toned down. In the sixth episode of The Secrets of Minecraft, it was jokingly revealed that the Warden's personal name is William, similar to how the Ender Dragon, the Wither, and player characters all have personal joke names. The word was also jokingly broken down into words War and Den. What did you guys think about today's video? Make sure to let us know in the comment section below. And let us know what you think about the Warden. Anyways, that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed the clips and my continuous commentary. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button right below this video, and I'll see you guys in another amazing and interesting video. Bye everyone.